so here we go guys here we go another turn turn number two in the good alcohol campaign in war in the pacific let's see what happens what do we see is he moving his um, cruiser south to help out at Guadal Canal. Okay, North Carolina arrives at Tulagi. Get the first bombardment in. Firing 16 inch guns. And firing 5 inch guns. Doing a bit of casualties, but nothing major there. It is a, it's a night bombardment after all. Daytime bombardment is obviously much more accurate, but also gets quite a bit more counterfire from the beaches. Naval movement. Okay. Now the air. Some of his float planes. Okay, zeros again. <laughs> Coming in once more from high up from above. We don't do too much damage to him just yet. A couple of kitty hawks coming in. Ah, we take damage, they don't take damage, okay. Ah. Uh, zeros are good. His zeros are good. Oh god, okay. Yeah, we gotta get some guys up there. Yeah, he tries to get us high again. Gotta double check the height on all the, my planes again. But I mean, at least we should be able to catch his bombers again if he has that, get them as high this time. Okay, yeah, let's, let's see how this all plays out. 1-0 against the uh, air cobra is obviously not great, but uh, this this should be good. This should be good. We should get quite a couple of baddies here. Yeah, first baddie destroyed because his zeros are obviously too far, far up high. So if we kill here like four baddies, I'm fine with the situation. That's his best bombers. He has a couple of G3Ms, I think, as well, in the area. But yeah, every baddie he loses here is a baddie he will not be able to do, uh, to replace for quite a while. Will my air cobras come in? Oh, they're all too up, up too high. Okay, another baddie damaged. Even damaged baddies are good. They might not make it back to rebel. It's quite a distance. They gotta fly. Damage on our side is not as bad as we obviously above Port Morsby. So damage planes should be able to make it home. Okay, air cobra engaging. Nice. Nice. They're coming in from up high. They should be really deadly here. Ooh, three more coming in, okay. Okay. This is good. Kitty Hawks coming in as well. So my guys trickle in. Oh, this is this is bloody for his baddies. Yeah, he should have not kept his zeros away from his baddies this turn. Okay, 
his baddies this turn pay a bloody toll for their move. Okay, you get, some baddies get through though, so at least he gets his bombardment onto my airfield. But yeah, five baddies destroyed and five damaged. That's good. And no aircraft hit on the ground this turn. B17E. Save like a couple of units on good Alcano. Okay, our first carry aircraft taking it to Lagi. And yeah, the big hit on the good Alcano. Our invasion force only arrives tomorrow. Okay. No, I'm playing against a player. I'm playing against um, the World War II guy. I'm playing against a player. I'm clear by email. He made a big mistake with these G4Ms there. Okay, let's see. Okay, nothing killed, but quite a couple of good hits. At least G1 supply hit. Nothing major. Okay. Upgrading ships. No land combat this turn, I guess. Okay, do we get any... Re okay, that's it. Okay, so let's get into the game itself. Uh, uh, well, let me load up the save, guys, and then I will get back to the normal screen. Okay. No, I play against the the World War Two guy. That's his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've just had to put in my password. That's why. Okay, here we go. Because we had to change from the the turn replay uh, to the order replay. So that's our CA force. Yeah. Sun Yuan alt's already in position. Where's... Okay. Falling back to Nomai. Can they actually... Do I have a supply ship that can actually reload? Okay, I have an AE. Is it loaded? AE, AE, pyro. Okay, yeah. So I can replenish battleship shells there. Okay, that's good. I will move these, this task force down to the south of Godal Canal, so he isn't too sure about its position. Well, let's move it over there. Let's move all my carriers down there. Okay. Uh, they will arrive there, and the landing forces. Also, one yeah. If I move my ship, these ships in here, you can't strike the landing force. That might be something worth considering. Maybe how many shells do you have left? Four. Uh, so one third. Uh, no, no, just replenish. Okay. So yeah, let's let's check the information again. So yeah, six to ten. This is this is good. What did we lose? So we did we lose a oh we lost in two operational losses from the carriers. 
Two baddies supposed to be lost. You know, the nine. We didn't destroy we didn't destroy nine in air to air, but even 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 if not, it's still still good. List of top pilots, yeah. Air Cobra two kills. Two Kitty Hawk pilots with two kills. So yeah, that was our AM going for Townsville, right? Anti submarine. There was our HQ going up to support Moresby for the Western, uh, Western Pacific forces. The DDs to help out the units there. Supplies from Luganville going over to Espirito Santo. Uh, hopefully, there's no subs up here. Usually, the subs are down here. In front of the port, made it out of port without any issues, so that's promising. Hopefully, it isn't getting shadowed by any submarines of his. I don't want to use you guys. No combat over here is good. He's moving these guys down south, though, so that's that's quite a couple more forces. But it's not it's not an amazingly strong force. Yeah, I'm wondering what I should do. Should I just leave the uh, the high skies empty? No, I have these guys. Yeah, I have these guys on really high. Should I leave them just empty for one turn? How, how much is the fatigue level? It's still okay, but it's only four ready aircraft. If they have to fight against 21 zeros once more up high, they will just get demolished because the other guys are obviously. Like these guys are in 10,000 to directly catch the incoming Z, uh, G4s. These guys are in 12,000, so yeah, they're also far away from. I, maybe I sent these up to 32,000 as well. That only the Kitty Hawks below. So that I have at least nine aircraft up there. Might be a f better fight. Because actually, I think up, up high we should have better performance than the Zeros. Is there any is there any a sheet for that? Zero. About maneuverability on thirty two is ten. Yeah, so yeah you see that's having them at thirty thousand is really bad. You should have print on if you go to mine, P thirty nines. P thirty nines, oh god, always always so long. 39 P P P P P Kitty Hawks. P39 Era Corba D, I think. We had the D version. Oh it's it's even worse, but yeah, it's it's shitty everywhere. So it's 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 pretty much the same. Comparable. We can't boom and zoom him up there, that's an issue. So maybe maybe tracking us up there. But let's see how how good is the Kitty Hawk up there. Is it, does it have the same issue? Kitty Hawk, Kitty Hawk, Kitty Hawk. Ah, I love the aircraft. Kitty Hawk, which... Ah, shit, I don't know which version of Kitty Hawk it is. 1A, okay. Is it as shitty? <laughs> oh no, it's even worse. Okay, so we really shouldn't, don't say that in these guys up there. We really don't send these guys up there. Okay, any... Ominoto? Okay. Tasafuranga. One hundred thirty-two. Okay, fifteen energy. Uh, okay, so he wants to go for Port Moresby. Akagi Maru AMC class. Let's locate it at Lai. I mean, let's do some port hits on Lai then, maybe. If he has all his zeros over here, which it kind of looks like. 
Cold Strike. Und to lie. Go low. Come in at 5000. Yeah, we don't have any chips, ships up here. We need to get some ships up here to get the, the fighter transported out of here. Over, like some kitty, some more kitty hawks would be really helpful at Port Moresby right now. Obviously, some of them will have to go later to go at Alcanal as well. So we can, will not send all the squadrons over. That's also the way I feel that Port Moresby, Port Moresby is not big enough. We didn't get any reinforcements today, did we? No. Some replacements. Port Moresby takes replacements. Okay. That's good. Crashes on landing. Crashes on landing. Okay. It's fine. But yeah, what's... So this... Now we can check chip availability. Okay, that's good. Couldn't do that last time. AK is coming in. Cargo ships. My, that's, that's not too important. A couple of DDs. Yeah, this is, this is where... In 10 days, we get a lot of stuff. I'm really looking forward for especially for the submarines. And then 21 days, it's the next bigger group. We have some sub chasers, and obviously the, the task force around the Washington. But yeah, really the submarines is what I'm really looking forward to, and then Hornet we get there. And quite a lot of escort carrier. Oh yeah, Long Island arriving at 9 days in Numai. We can use that for shipping over sh uh, aircraft from Townsville to Port Moresby, maybe. Though it's only 16 knots, so Long Island is really horrendously slow. Like, have to be careful. Maybe, maybe we use it. I, I think we keep it here. As soon as we have Guadal Canal, we use it for shipping from units from Numai over to Guadal Canal. Some. Some planes. I think that's that's the plan there. Oh, what do you guys think? Operations wise, yeah. The combat reports there was only yeah naval bombardment. Zero. Yeah, it was reported one zero destroyed here, and only four. Only f four, uh, five, G four M ones destroyed here. So maybe he lost lost one or two more. But I would say it's five, not nine. The the nine is for sure an overstatement here. And the aircraft lost. For the. G force and for sure not 11 like maybe f like I would say the five I guess and air to air is accurate and then like maybe the two ops is also accurate and then they lost like seven which would be still good but still mean his eddy formation got a big hit we don't know too much about it so, oh yeah I'm thinking about what to do but yeah, without any big infantry reinforcements, these are all obviously all like all the infantry forces we have are either that are attached to task we, formations we can use, like the RF command, current and Talsville. We already checked that. These are in Luganville, which is obviously also absolutely fine. The rest is on the task force, or already at Post Moresby or Millen Bay. So yes, all our units are on the way. Aircraft rise you can also not do much. And chips, they are on the way. So yeah, not not the most exciting turn. The, the exciting turn really comes next turn, when these guys will land on Godal Canal and Tulagi. 
And maybe, and it's also the first turn he really may, might have something that really does something to us. But overall, I'm happy with this turn. Losing the S44 in our search screen hurts because we really don't have a submarine here right now. Like the submarines from down here are still on the way. But we don't have, we don't know if any ships are moving around this sector. So his cruisers or anything could come in here and strike us without us getting any notice. Other than maybe from Catalinas, but we didn't spot anything with Catalinas this turn. Which is good, but also a bit scary. He has a quite a couple, of, uh, quite a big carrier um, strike force with cruisers. That could be dangerous to our landing ships. Yeah, this is this is still loading, so that's on the way then. Esperanza Bay and Lux Bay. Yeah, looking forward to these guys. Wait, where's the tanker going? British fam, did I want it to send that anywhere? Because it does have any... Oh, oh yeah, I thought about sending it to Spiritus Santo, maybe. But I don't have enough fuel here. Really, I don't have that much fuel in this scenario. I don't know if Numai gets, gets fuel. Like, I don't know how I get fuel in this scenario. Because at the moment, it doesn't feel like I have that much to throw around. And if I, yeah, if I would take the fuel out of Prispin with that tanker send it over here it would nearly use up all my fuel can I change it against a smaller tanker is there a smaller tanker in this port no only bigger ones <laughs> yeah okay they, they, those would be too big mm, yeah now we, we leave that empty empty for now I will I would love to have Espes Urito Santo having some fuel so that like smaller task force can that don't get any damage can be refueled there. Then uh, the other one the, the bigger task force that don't get any damage go to Nomai and the ones that get a bit of damage go to Sydney. Like having these three steps would be nice, but Espirito Santo at the moment not really usable. Let's double check if we have any AKs that could be Considered for uh, refits. AP. Okay, so we could get some more transport ships. AG. AKE. That's 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 what I want. Let's convert that. That means that it is a ammunition ship, and we. I don't think we have enough ammunition. Like, let's check our auxiliary fleet. Here we go to all ships. Auxiliary. I think we only, only have one AE. Yeah, we have one AE, Ammunition Replenishment, that also works at sea. Uh, AKE only works in port, but here yeah, we only have one at Numai. Would like to have one in Espiritu Santo, so that's what we're gonna send over there when we have it converted. AG we don't need. Too badly. But yeah, the AK. Okay, not the AKE. Um. Yeah, I think that's two ships that are worth converting here. Because we have enough AKs. Having two ammunition replenisher, the other one going to Townsville. So that task force that have to protect Port Moresby can replenish in Townsville. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Ah. Misclick. Misclick. Went over the edge. Uh, got, got over the edge. Okay. So yeah, our submarines up here still do their stuff. Nothing moving out of track just yet. Obviously, yeah. Something we like compared to the Japanese is submarines with spotting planes. That would be pretty nice to have some spotting planes. I guess some units on Cavalini Island. But they don't matter. Like these islands over there doesn't matter in this scenario. The victory points are here. So let's see. 
We had to laggy. Yeah, I think this is his guide. This is it, guys. It's a short turn. Not much else to do here. Could double. Do we have AKs in here that we could maybe convert into something? Uh, they are already. Even if, but we can't even convert them. Yeah, maybe even an AKE to go down you know, later on. When we somehow maybe get that up to a base, but I don't, I wouldn't expect it. Depends on his strategy here. If he wants to hold Guadal Canal at all, if he, if he wants to contest us here, or if he just wants to raid it a bit and uh, focus on Port Moresby, which would also be a valid strategy. Which I kind of fear he does. Because this one is much harder to defend. He needs to take out my carriers in some way. Uh, attacking this one is a bit easier. He has already uh, reported Buna where he can land units relatively uncontested. Me going up here brings me into range of Rapal. But him going down here brings him into the range of Esperitus Santu. And closer to my bases. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's Let's end this turn. Everything is going as planned. Okay. Get a safety. And then get the other one on slot 40. Okay, always teasing each other a bit with that. Okay guys, so that's it with this. Um, I will be back in 30 minutes with uh, the finals of Division 3. We'll restart the stream here. And yeah, we'll be back with that.